feel very fortunate to work here at Hebner Elementary with such a great, with such great teachers and administration. I enjoy working collaboratively with them and sharing in their successes. And I think they chose me as their, as the Hebner Teacher of the Year because of those relationships that I have built with them as well as my students. I try to inspire them through my love of teaching, my positive attitude, and my sometimes corny sense of humor. I enjoy uh, working on committees and trying to work with the other teachers in planning programs and other things to improve instruction for all of the students here at Hebner. I feel these are some of the qualities that are the cornerstone for making a great school. She has always had a good attitude, like she said. Um, she's always putting humor into her teaching. She's inspiring. She she's always helped us. She's whenever we're stuck, she's always giving us advice and how we can help out on that problem or something. I think she was selected because she has that just because she she has that attitude, just a good positive attitude, would just makes you want to come to school. Like, cause if you didn't have that. I would be gone. I would back out of school. There would be no point. And I don't know how I'm going to survive sixth grade because she is such like the best teacher ever. Well, it was not surprising to me that Lisa Veeger was the Hebner Campus of, uh, Teacher of the Year and Northeast Elementary Teacher of the Year because she truly gets what it means to be a great teacher. She just has that winning combination of being caring and compassionate and fun and having a great sense of humor. But she also is strict and she has high expectations for her students. And her room is structured, but the structure has an intention to it. So she's flexible too to make sure her students are successful. Some might say that she's slightly competitive. Now, when I've talked to her husband, who's been up here several times, that no, no, she's very competitive. But I look at that as a good thing because that's what makes her students successful. But I think most importantly, the thing that I love about Lisa is that she has a heart for children and she has a passion for teaching and learning. Well, she has the best teaching techniques and she makes learning fun. Um, she inspires me to do my best on everything. It wasn't until my sophomore year in high school that I had this fabulous math teacher. Uh, she was able to inspire us. Uh, she got kids that didn't like math into loving math. Uh, she used humor, she used our interest, she did everything. I really, really, really respected her. It's funny, she has a great sense of humor and I always laugh because she, she just makes me laugh. I mean, she's such a great teacher, it's amazing. Um, I was thinking of a student that came to our school from another district and his, he had some big learning gaps and when he came he was sullen, he was sad, um, shoulders slumped, never smiled. You could say he had very low self-esteem. Well the first benchmarks came and I met with Lisa and her team and his scores were in the 30s. So Lisa knew, well, I got some work to do here. The second benchmarks came and he had 70s. And the team was like, wow, what did you do? Because we want to learn what you did because we want to do that. And I just loved her reply to the team. Well, it was simple. She said, I just met with him every morning. I encouraged him. I told him I believed in him. He can do it. And she said, and then I just taught him the material he didn't know. She's reasonable. She can. You can't, you, you don't really have reasons to question her. She's always doing everything right. Ah, uh, one thing motivates me, and that's my students. My students are the reason that I get up every day and come to work. When I stand at the door each morning and greet them and I see their enthusiastic smiles, it really gets me going. That enthusiasm is so contagious, and I feel it's my job as their teacher 
to keep that enthusiasm that they enter my classroom with going throughout the entire day. Her jokes because they, um, they make the, the lessons worth listening to um, and that she always seems to want to be with us. So I have to say about Mrs. Beeger, she just gets the art and science of teaching. Every child is important to her. They leave there feeling loved and important and cared for. At the same time, as building those strong relationships, she's able to weave that relationships and the rich curriculum into just this dynamic classroom. And truly, that is an art.